Hello, everybody, welcome back for another episode of Mecha Maker! I uh, lost where I was halfway there. Anyway, last time we played Sad Forest, and it made me not sad, but very, very grumpy. Anyway, today we're gonna be playing one of my levels. <laughs> this level right here, Bouncy Fun Times. Uh, my friend Neville really wanted to see me beat the stage on camera, so I'm gonna do it. Are you? Are we going? Yeah, of course Nightman's at the end, of course he is. So anyway, this level's about springs! It's about the springs. Yes, this is about this is about my arch nemesis springs. You're welcome. Anyway, this level is meant to be hard as hell. Alright. Oh god, I forgot which teleporter is which. Um Oh, it's that one. Okay. Whoa, what the f- Okay, there we go. Okay. I've not played my level next in a substantial amount of time. There you go. Do I give you a checkpoint here? No, I do not give you a checkpoint. I'll give you a checkpoint here. Oh, here's an E-Tank tease. Just letting you know that that kills you no matter what you do. So there you go. This level is about being an absolute dick. Anyway, speaking of being an absolute dick, welcome to hell. <laughs> this is where you're gonna be spending about 90% of the time in this level is this friggin' screen. <laughs> To tell you, when I uploaded this, uh, this was practically luck-based. But uh, the, 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 oh, okay. Basically, the only way to beat this stage, from my recollection, is to lure light, uh, night, uh, light, nightman into that hole. Okay. That's the only way you're gonna be able to beat Nightman easily. Oh, you're supposed to use the charge kick there, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, yes! Okay. No! <laughs> okay, so if you just use charge kick, it'll kill him. Okay. No! No! Okay. Nope. Ugh. Yeah, if you hit the wrong enemy in this room, it instantly kills you. Like, regardless of how much health you have, you can still lose due to stupid bullshit. There you go. I think I might make another level this episode. Just be a joik. Alright. There we go. There, I beat it. See? It was not that hard. See there, it barely took half an episode. See there. See, it's not very hard. So anyway, I guess we'll make a new level. Uh. You're allowed to use a grid. Alright, uh. Sliding, I'll let you slide. Charge? Mmm. Sure, let's go to the Mega Man 4 charge, just to piss people off. Uh. I want to make this level, like, hate. Okay. 
the truest of pain. There we go. Okay, so the weapons you're gonna have. Uh, let's let's let people use Mega Buster this time. Uh, Thunder Beam, all out Thunder Beam, Metal Blade. Uh, top Spin, always have Top Spin because it's a joke. There you go. Uh, wait, did they add Pharaoh Shot? Uh, let's have Fer Pharaoh Shot. I feel like Pharaoh Shot would be nice to have. Uh, gravity Hold, Gravity Hold might be fun. You could probably cheese a level with Gravity Hold. Uh, Silver Tomahawk? Nah, let's throw some Windstorm in there. And then... Uh, oh, definitely I want to go with Perfect Freeze. Well, actually, I want Shine and Perfect Freeze. There we go. And then, uh... Let's go with Magnet Beam. There you go. This is the, uh, equipment you're working with. Well, actually, you know what? This should be... N oh, my God. I am going to become such a jerk. Rush Jet. And then... Nado, or should I have Mega Buster there? Let's have Mega Buster. <laughs> oh my god, I am such a jerk. <laughs> I realized I can be so rude. Oh no, should I make this a nice level? I'm gonna make it a nice level. Dude, the piercing red background with uh, blue palm trees. Jeffrey, what time do you need to leave? 3.30? Okay. <laughs> David, did you give him another? Thank you. You guys are leaving now? Okay. Or... Pretty soon. Okay. Alright. So number one, I'm just gonna layer this stuff with ice blocks. <laughs> just, just letting you know. Now I want Iceman in this game. Oh yeah, what, what? Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that is the one enemy they added. Yeah, they did add the, uh, frog dudes. So yeah, they were new enemies, and I didn't even know it. Oh no, I'm gonna have ice platforms and underwater. That's what I'm gonna do. I am going to become the rudest main on Earth. Thank you. Alright, I'm about to become the rudest man in the, on the face of this planet. Okay, this looks like ice. I li That looks more like ice to me. Jesus. There you go. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah, you could use Shine to break it, though. Yeah, you could probably use Shine to break it, but then I would call you stupid. <laughs> then I would hate you. Uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, no. You can make certain rows underwater. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, I prefer just the whole screen to be underwater.
Let's make it seem like a nice underwater area, and then you nearly die. Well, actually, these top spikes could be jerkish. So there you go. What the? What? How did I lose the underwater? I broke it? Question mark? Okay, and then I want to lay spikes all over this thing. Well, actually, oh no. Do I want to be a jerk by doing this? Okay, yes, I'm gonna be a jerk by doing this. I'm gonna have a path that literally just doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna have a path of falling platforms that literally just doesn't go anywhere. That would be the rudest thing ever. And that just falls to your death. Don't forget to lock the front door. Okay. Okay, it happened. All right. Don't forget to bring back my black cooler. All right. So everyone's bringing it. Okay. If you leave it at the bowling alley, I'll never see it again. Okay. Bye. Okay. Uh, let's go Centaur Man's theme. There you go. I'll go Centaur Man's theme. There you go, I'll put enemies here to make it look like you're supposed to be there. There you go, so the first screen, uh, what do I want? Oh, I'll love these floating cannons. And of course, I've got to have Metal Man at the end. I want to have Metal Man at the end of this. So there you go. My, my creative juices are pumping. And they will not stop. Alright, so number one, we can't play it unless Mega Man spawns. I'm going to spawn him right on top of the screen. <laughs> so you must get out of the way of some spikes. There, I'll keep that pattern for this. I'll have the droppy dudes from Gyroman stage. There we go. Okay. Alright. Oh, and then I'll just lay... Alright, and then I'll troll him with the boss door. Alright, and then these will be rows of vertical spikes. There you go.
I'm I am so rude when it comes to games like this. Like, like this is why you don't let me design levels. You know, this is why you don't let me design stages. So let's just see for now. Okay, that's impossible. Okay. Oh wow, I've actually maxed out on weapons. But essentially you have all these enemies and you must use ammo in order to fight them. <laughs> Alright, I may as well just um, put ammo drops in places. Oh, on this door. Oh, no. <laughs> you do not let me do stuff like this, because I'm just gonna be rude as fuck. See, this is this is where I pour all my stress out from this game, is by making levels that are about being as rude as humanly possible. <laughs> Alright. And then I'll just put tiny weapon pickups in case you want to kill enemies. I'll put at least one of these things in each of the other ones. I'll put a big one right here. Yeah, I'll make that jump at least somewhat fair. Actually, no. I'll make that jump somewhat fair. It's all about how much of a dick you can be. <laughs> Alright, and then I'll give him one of these, and then... And then do the little ones. And at that point, I'll also give them a big weapon. Just, just, just to let the player be able to live, you know. I'm, I'm at least somewhat generous, you know. All right. So then, for the third screen, what do I want? Uh, let's go with. This level is just about enemies everywhere. I don't think this is helping any.
Okay. Alright, and then I'll have another troll boss door. There. be as rude with the spikes. At least have a chance for the player to be able to react, you know? Okay. And then for this screen, what enemy do I want? Alright, I'm gonna use some spikes here. Just so I can make some of uh, these guys bounce back and forth. Yeah, but it won't be just them. I also will have uh, some butterflies. There you go. Alright, and then this room will just be one gigantic clusterfuck. <laughs> Number one, let me see this notification. No, never mind. Okay. Alright, well, number one, let's get some water back in here. There you go. Pretty much the rest of the level at that point would be underwater. Actually, no, this- <laughs> Oh, no. No, no, no. No, I've got a better idea. Have this lead to a teleporter. Right? And it puts you right-
There you go, let's put it right under the original. The original part. And have that branch off into somewhere that just kills you. Basically, once you get to this point, you're dead. Here, and let them slide under. Let them slide under, and yet have it not be able to do anything. Like, let them be able to progress, but then, once they get here, it's just nothing but death. And just load this area with empty. <laughs> or actually, no, it should be lasers. Like, you should be able to clear it. But then just have nothing but lasers. That would kill you before you even get here. But at that point, essentially, you're dead. <laughs> there, there's nothing you're gonna do. And then, and then have this. Just have a few M tanks on top of each other. <laughs> people will have no clue. Some people will be like, I'm about to go to a secret area. Dead. I don't know, maybe you could slide under that. No, I think that has to be blocks for it to be a continuous slide. Right there you go, you're just dead. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna even gonna be able to beat these par parts. Uh, I don't wanna be rude by not putting checkpoints. Like, after this, you deserve a check. Like, if you get there, you deserve a checkpoint. Uh, oh, I'll put springs on the bottom to make sure they never fall. To make sure you don't fall. And I'll surround it with, uh, ice blocks. There we go. And 
And if you decide not to listen at that point, then, um... Then you just die. There. I am the rudest person in the world. Okay, boo ba boo ba boo Hit it up with some water. Oh my god. Making water rooms is not fun. You're not allowed to make a spiky ceiling with water. Oh, and I'm gonna do a disappearing block section. Oh god, no, no. Should I do this? Should I really do this? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make three paths. You have to pick the right path in order to get the boss. And if you choose the wrong path, you're dead. Well, then again, you can't just cheese it with Magnet Beam. Yeah, at this point, you know what, uh... You should have nothing that can help you get places. Hold on, let me just reconsider this. Uh, I'll, give, I'll let people shoot, because that's just not fun, if you're not being able to shoot. Uh... I'll allow Firestorm, because that would be ironic, right? And Thunderbeam. Um, you gotta have Metal Blades. You gotta have Metal Blades. You gotta have Metal Blades. Uh. And Quick Boomerang could help, too. Uh. Obviously, last weapon, I want it to be, uh. Shine and Perfect Freeze. Nah, just Perfect Freeze. There you go. Then, um. Then Silver Tomahawk. Star Crash can let you get places, or cra Charge Kick, I mean. Star Crash, then Gravity Hold. Or I should have it be Plant Barrier. Plant Barrier, Star Crash, then Gravity Hold. Well, actually, then... Now, I'll just say yeet to the uh, Mega Man 6 weapons. Uh, search snakes, which really won't do anything. Uh, then magnet missile, and then... Skull barrier. Skull barrier is the best of the barriers. And then pharaoh shot. There you go. And then... Star Crash, and then Silver Tomahawk, because... Well, actually, no. Gravity Hold, and then... And then Silver Tomahawk. I think, like, you could break the other sections by just using Gravity Hold. Oh, that's probably what you want to do. That's probably what you would want to do. There you go, but... Basically, I'm giving a lot of people options, you know, because... 
pretty cool to do, figure it out. <laughs> Just remember there's water throughout all this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I made it to where you can beat it. Alright, so the middle one's the one you can beat. There you go. And then in the next episode, I'll try to beat it and upload it. Oh, because bosses are immune to spikes. But can you shoot through spikes? I'm pretty sure you can shoot through spikes. He can be immune to perfect freeze. There you go. Because that'd be too easy. Uh, his primary weakness can be... Uh, okay. Oh, Pharaoh shot. <laughs> and then his secondary weakness can be... It can be Silver Tomahawk. And then this could be There you go, I think I've done it. I think I've created the world's rudest level. 
There you go. It took me 40 minutes to do it, but uh, I made it. So there we go. Um, there we go. And let's just see. There you go. So number one, let's just see if this is possible. Oh my god. I might have to reduce these from three spikes to two spikes. Yeah, I might have to reduce those because, uh, that's just, those jumps are too hard. There we go. Okay. Sweet. There we go. So I have done it. I have created the world's rudest stage. I'm gonna upload it off screen. Uh, I'll try to upload it next episode. That'll that'll be the incentive to keep you watching. Will I be able to upload it? Probably. And if I can, then uh, I'll see whatever levels will come up with mine. So I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.